Okay, this short video is going to show you some of the basics of Adobe Illustrator, such as how to set up a canvas, customize it, draw a few shapes, use the knife tool to cut the shapes up and change the old color. So the first thing we need to do is create a new document. So you go File, New, and we get our window. You can also get a name here. By default, it normally defaults to millimeters. Remember, Illustrator is designed for print medium. We're mostly going to be using it in a web-based or online version, so we're going to deal with pixels. And as we're going to work in this example, just a little sort of logo and some shapes, I'm just going to set it to 800 pixels by 800. So we hit OK. It's created a nice little canvas. We've got our basic shapes and all the objects to the left-hand side here. Note if there's a little triangle, if you click and hold down the mouse, you get some extra options. So I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle tool. Fill that in. Note when I've got the shape drawn, I've got some other options. So I can sort of force it to be an exact size. Remember, you can also hold down Shift to do that. You can also drag in here and change each of the edges. By default, they're all locked together, but you can unlock them, and then each one will be able to be manually controlled. So I've got a basic shape. What I might want to do is change the weight of the line, increase that up. And I think here is the color. So I've now got a red outline. You can click off it to draw a different shape. Now what I'm going to do is let's say put a star shape just in the corner. Remember black arrow moves things around. So I'm going to line it up over here. Just move it so it's actually on the screen a little bit. Now, I want to combine these two, so I'm going to hold down Shift to select both of them. And if I go to Window, and then choose Pathfinder, I get another little sort of like, tab that I can use, panel, and different options. Unite, so I can join, combine the two, takes the outline of them, controls it to undo. I can cut it using this cookie cutter, take the section which only both overlap, or combine everything. So for this I might just want these outlines here. Another useful tool is the knife, which can be found by clicking and holding down on the eraser tool, choosing the knife. And what I can then do is draw cuts that I want to eliminate. So now that breaks it into two separate sections. And then puts a line back to link it up. Just going to remove that. Obviously we've also got standard sort of things such as the eraser but note that it basically does keep the rest of the shape outline actually all together if I do want to delete individual pieces I can go and use the white arrow sub selection and remove individual points or say and grab those what we can also do, I'm just going to try and remember exactly where it is, is the different types of brushes that are available to us. And effects. So we've got spirals that we can add in, a lot of other different sort of effects and details. Other sort of tools that are quite useful is either scaling or share tool, which we can sort of if you had some sort of 3D effects, which really well with pictures, just sort of flatten out pictures. Now, that's just some of the basics of Adobe Illustrator. Very good, remember it's all vector based, so no matter what size you design it at, you can always resize it to be something complete. Hope you enjoyed it. Here we go, try and